Now that's working. I think I can see. I can see. I can see like the chat. It's connected. Oh. Anything up? All right. I think we're actually working now. I'm sorry for the delay. It's <laughs> no idea whatsoever what I'm doing here. Right. I want to get some of the artifacts. I want to get another one of each artifact so that we can do more than one Manticore fight because I would really like to do the Gamma fight before we do the Alpha fight because I really don't think I'm going to actually be able to do the Alpha fight. I think we're going to die. If we do the Alpha fight, I feel like we're going to die. So let's go to the cave that's nearby first, if I can remember where it is. This is genuinely terrifying. I have done public speaking events to over a hundred people that have been less nerve-wracking than this is. <laughs> Someone's asked me how I am. I'm horrified. I'm terrified. This is freaky. Right, where the hell is this, um... Where is, where is this cave gone now? There's a... I can't find anything. We'll go to the blue cave first since... Since it's in this sort of general direction and... It involves not looking for holes in the ground. Yeah, fighting with wyverns. Everyone keeps telling me that I should be using rexes, but I used rexes last time, and it it just feels like right. It feels like there's a a really easy rut to fall into where you just use rexes for every single for every single boss fight, and I don't want to do that. If, if possible, especially for my first playthrough of the game, I would really like to use a, a team that is either unique to the map or we've just found on the map for the boss fight. So for example, like here on Scorched Earth, I want to use Wyverns because they're the special thing on this map. On Aberration, I'm assuming that there's going to be some special things and hopefully... I'll be able to use those special things for um, whatever bosses or boss is on aberration. Oh, the Manticore can glitch out with fly flies. Fair enough. I mean, I feel like Ark is uh, Ark is not necessarily the most stable game, so I feel like whatever I bring, it can probably glitch glitch out. Right, this is just water, isn't it? This isn't a fall. Has this place not respawned at all since we were last here? For God's sake, there's, there's caves in this map are just rubbish. And we're stuck on nothing. Right, let's see if the uh, the artifact has actually respawned. Aberration is the best. Oh, there's one of those things. I am looking forward to Aberration. Everyone keeps... Everyone keeps telling me Aberration is, is more of a horror type map, so I am really looking forward to that. Hello, there is some stuff down here, wouldn't there? Okay, there's a lot of stuff down here all of a sudden. And no artifact, of course there's no living artifact. Right, let's just murder everything. And there was no artifact last time we were here either, so maybe we kill some stuff, wander in and wander out. And it'll start. Wait, aberration doesn't allow flyers. Do you mean in the boss fight, or do you mean the map? It, the entire map doesn't allow flyers. Because I know that on the island, I couldn't take flyers into the boss fight. You can't find flyers on the map. Oh, fuck! All right, so there's just no flyers on aberration. That's gonna be fun. How do you get around? Um, when I, am I going to play Arc 2? I don't know when Arc 2 is coming out. It's supposed to be coming out this year, isn't it? But there's been radio silence from the developers, so... I don't, I don't think we're getting Arc 2 in... Um, 
in 2022. I think Arc 2 is going to be delayed, the same as Starfield and everything. Yeah, I, I think 2022 is going to be the year of year of game delays, unfortunately. Right, so it doesn't look like there's any... Oh, there's a fucking rubble golem. No, piss off. Not fighting. You don't have time. <laughs> don't spoil it for him. Yeah, I'd have just spent hours looking for an RG that didn't exist. <laughs> I really would have done as well. It, it's the thing that I think is the most important thing to get, so I'd have just spent ages searching for an RG. Right. I don't think this one's respawning. Let's... let's... we've come in. Last time we came in, we wiggled around for a bit and then the artifact spawned. So let's go see if it spawned now. And then we'll just get out of this cave and go to another one. Because I really don't trust the caves on Scorched Earth anymore. Can we, can we hit him if we jump? No. Yes! <laughs> no. Horrible thing. So there seems to be a mixture of people not wanting me to know about the flyers <laughs> and people thinking I should know about the flyers, that's quite funny. Let's see if this is respawned. So aberration is broken, is that as in broken, I oh, know, I'm going to stop asking people to clarify things because I don't want to find out too much stuff. I'll find out when we get there which hopefully will be really soon. Right, yeah, there's no artifact in this game so we're just going to leave. That was a waste of time. Extinction is your favourite map. Extinction is the one that comes after Aberration, isn't it? It goes, it goes Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, and then, and then the two Genesis maps. Am I right? And then all the other maps are not canon, are they? All the other maps are non-story maps, I think. I say these things, I don't actually have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think I'm right there. Alright, so this cave was a bit of a bit of a failure. Let's get our Oh hello! Ah, my kitten is bigger than you. Where's it gone? Did we just Oh no, we're on top of it, okay. I haven't heard many people say that like Gen 1 and Gen 2 are their favourite maps. Do people not do people not really like the Gen 1 and Gen 2 maps? I heard a lot of people say they like Scorch, a lot of people say they like Aberration, but a lot of people say that, you know, you, some people just said Extinction is good, but I don't think I've seen anyone say the Gen 1s are their favourite. I wonder, are the Gen 1s not as good, or are they just different? Right, let's. Oh, it's it's light now, so we should actually be able to find this crack in the ground. Gen one sucks. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right. So people don't like the Genesis maps. They make it too easy. Uh, they lean too much into the tech side of things. All right. So it's more about technology than dinos. Nobody likes Scorched. I like Scorched. It's it's not. It could be a lot better. But I like the general premise. Scorched is really good. It's just a bit, a bit barren, a bit lacking. Gen 1 is broken for single player. Broken in like a too easy way or broken in a too hard way or just broken in a weird way. There's the fucking crack in the ground. There we go. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't sound... People are just saying it sound, it's different. Different is good. Different isn't a bad thing. Alright, let's... I'm not going to leave the wyvern out here, because if I do, it'll end up dead. If someone says Scorched is their favourite, they are lying. <laughs> people really don't... You really don't like Scorched, do you? Well, at the moment, Scorched is my favourite, so, sorry. I'm not lying, I really like Scorched at the moment, but I have nothing to compare it to other than the island. Bro 
broken for single players. Oh, okay. That's great. Wonderful. Um, should be a ton of explorer notes in this cave, because we didn't find a single one, but I don't see any of them. Scorch doesn't have an any. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get stuck in the wall. Yeah, I've heard that you don't actually ascend from Scorch. You just beat the boss, and then nothing really happens. Which, yeah, Scorch. Mm. It does. It does have a feeling of lacking that final bit of polish. The Scorch, like I, I'm enjoying it. I really think. I think it's different. Um, but it does feel like it's lacking a little bit of polish somewhere. Built a pyramid base. A pyramid base on Scorch sounds really cool, yeah. That's very thematic, I like that. So there we go, we've got that one, and it is not a jump to the death, is it, here, so I can climb up here without, without worrying too much. Wild card life likes to leave stuff unfinished. I think leaving stuff unfinished seems to be the... Uh, I mistyped that. There we go. Leaving stuff unfinished seems to be the industry standard for video game development a lot of the time at the moment. There's a lot of games like that, isn't there? Oh wow, so there was actual there's like actual real life reasons why Scorched is not finished then. It, it is genuinely unfinished. It's not just that it feels unfinished, it's that stuff actually happened and it, it is unfinished. Okay. That's interesting. Right, let's go to the one in that little sort of town area. No, I'm not gonna wander around without my Thyla because I'll die. And yeah, I agree. That is exactly that is exactly what I think. Scorched has so much potential, but it doesn't actually hit that level of potential. Yeah. Technically a modded map, and they decided to add it as a start. Right. So Scorched started life as a modded map. Oh, that's interesting. No, it is. I, I like Scorched a lot because it's different from the island. Island. It's just that it needed to be different, really. Oh, hello, Raptor. Okay, this Raptor has just reminded me of a question I wanted. I've meant to ask for this entire series, and I haven't asked. Are there any alpha creatures on this map other than Wyverns? Also, what is he crying about? He's just made noise. What's wrong with you? He's crying about something. Okay, that's adorable, but I don't know what's up with him. Yeah, the only alpha creatures I've seen is... Um, wyverns. I've not seen any alpha rexes, any alpha raptors, any alphas at all. Just wyverns. Alpha death worms. Ooh! Sandstorm, it means a sandstorm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? So I start, I haven't had a sandstorm in hours. The second I start streaming, it's a sandstorm. Wonderful. Right, there are only alpha death worms and wyverns. I thought so, because usually there's alpha raptors crawling everywhere. That's what I'm used to from the island. Um, I missed something. There we go. The Ascension Cave was going to be the Colosseum you found in the middle of the desert, but due to reasons I already mentioned, it wasn't finished. Ah. That makes sense, because that does look like it should be a thing, but it isn't a thing. That makes a lot of sense. Right, so we're going to have to deal with a, with a sandstorm in a moment. Wonderful. Or is the sandstorm not here? Is it just over there? Let's... I mean, this, we're going to a cave. What am I... Jesus. We're going to a cave. Why am I worrying about a sandstorm? Scorched was never a modded map. Okay, now we've got a <laughs> discussion and there's debate going on. Was Scorched a modded map or not? I, I, I don't know. 
I do agree that it feels unfinished, but I don't know anything about its actual history, so... Hmm. He's still crying, but it's fine. It's fine. If we get into a cave, it, I don't think it matters what, what the weather is, as long as we're in the cave when the weather arrives, so... Shouldn't be a problem. Ooh! Ooh, hello! And there's a wyvern over there as well. Hi. I'm going to set you on fire. I don't want a wreck. And yep, it's crap. Every single tech rex I've ever seen has been crap. Which is really upsetting because they're so cool. But no. They're all rubbish. Okay, he's still complaining about something. Scorched came out before the main game was... Uh, yeah, I've heard that Scorched actually was released before they... Sandstorm! Well done to everyone who said it was a Sandstorm. You are correct. Yeah, I, I had heard that Scorched actually came out before... Um, before it left Alpha or Beta or whichever one. I can never get that the right way around. But yeah, I heard that... I heard that Scorched was released as a DLC before the final game was released, which is a very questionable bit of business practice in my opinion, like if your game isn't fully released, you shouldn't really be releasing DLCs, but I suppose they're not paid DLCs, are they? Oh, look, look! I'm an idiot! There it is! It has been such a blessing to be able to spread Hartha's joy and love to so many people at first my daily prayers guarded, but a few curious observations Yet soon observations turn to questions and questions turn to par participation. Now there are so many of us that we have even begun to construct a shrine. I truly wish I could teach these eager new students all day long, but my duty to the village must come first. Perhaps when our future here is finally secured, I shall be able to live the life of a priestess again. But for now, I have too many people counting on me. Okay, cool. I'll notice when I come to the end how I've finished it. It is a paid DLC. Scorched it. Is Scorched a paid DLC? I, I do have breeding tech parasols. Yeah, it is free metal oil and electronics. But my my problem with tech dinos is tech tech rexes are always really low leveled, and I want a really high level tech rex. Okay, have we got any more of them. You would have expect I would have expected one to be like underneath this, the big mural of the Manticore, but or over here maybe, but no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, everyone has pointed me to Neddy's Law videos. I am going to check them out, but I probably won't until I've finished the story maps, just in case they spoil things. The story maps are paid DLCs. Okay, so fair enough. I didn't know that. I bought Ark like over a year or two ago and I just never played it until recently so I don't remember what I paid for it or anything. Uh, so I didn't realise that they were actually... Uh, oh look there's Arthropora up there. I didn't realise that they were actually paid DLCs, I thought these story DLCs were free. What's up? What's around here? Reaction video. Reaction video to what? To the law? Scorched Aberration Extinction coming to pack in Genesis 1 and 2. Okay, right, okay, that makes sense then. Um, we have a level up, let's spend that. Almost 700% damage on this thing now. This is a really strange way of playing a game, keeping an eye on the chat as well. That's, that's really interesting. Oh, they don't spoil it if you watch a map at a time, they're separate. Right, so they are actually separated into maps. That's good. All right, in that case, I will go and have a look at some of them. Yeah, I'll have a look at the island one and Scorched Earth as soon as we finish Scorched Earth. That's cool, yeah. Law reaction. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't think that'd be very interesting. It'll just be me going, ooh, that's, that's fun. Or if I don't like the lore, it'll just be me saying, ah, oh, that's stupid. Right, 
Right, okay. This is the one with the big hole of death. Right, so he has what so it's voice actors acting out the explorer notes, all of the explorer notes, I'm assuming in some sort of chronological order. So if you watch Right, if I watch it just for the maps I've played, then there's no spoilers. Alright, brilliant. Right. Let me just see if I can make this jump. Uh, oh god, oh god. I hate this bit. Doing there we go, okay. Right. Uh, okay, there's no... I'm just checking to see if there's any explorer notes around here. It doesn't look like there is. I bet that's a rock. Rubble golem. Look down. I don't want to. If I look down, I'll fall down. And I think there's probably a rubble golem somewhere. Oh, no. Why would you do that? Now I've got vertigo. <laughs> yeah, walks off cliff reading chat, yeah. <laughs> I can see that happening, definitely. <laughs> uh, this is... Right, yeah, I've said it before. Oh, there it is, there it is, look, look, one second. Before I go off on a tangent, explore note. Yes! What is this? Uh, Rockwell. Eureka, at last I found signs of human life this afternoon. I came across a fresh series of footprints. Some from humans and some from large beasts of burden. Cannot be sure how I made, who, who made them, or how civilized they are. Can't afford to be too particular. Whoever they are, I must track them down as soon as I gather my strength. Pursue my quarry with the utmost haste and vigor. The tale of the brilliant and impeccably groomed. <laughs> I like Rock. I like Rockwell. That's brilliant. The tale of the brilliant and impeccably groomed Sir Edmund Rockwell shall not end this day. Yeah, brilliant. Rockwell's fantastic. <laughs> That's great. He's, he's played by, um, I've seen the trailer for the animated series that I don't think he's out yet. I don't know. But isn't he going to be played by David Tennant? Which is just awesome. Any character played by David Tennant is a great character. Let's just drop all this rubbish. Ark's lore is more interesting than any book my school has forced me to read. <laughs> and sword. There we go. Have a drink. The non-story maps are really cool. Yeah. Um, is Lost Island the one that's based on Tamriel? I know that there's one of the uh, non-story maps that's based on Tamriel. I've seen a picture of the map, that looks really fun. You can go build the Imperial City and stuff. The story gets sad and I'll cry a little at the end. Oh, wonderful. Oh, piss off, Rob Gollum. I don't like sad stories, I do cry at sad stories. I'm in a bit of an emotional mess. Um, and another one. Yeah, so it's Lost Island that's uh, Tamriel. I I'm looking forward to playing Lost Island. Definitely get some uh, some Elder Scrolls vibes out there for that. That'll be fun. Ooh, hello. Should we just bounce past everyone? That's not work, has it? Oh god. There's already a massive castle where the Imperial City would be. Oh! Why would you tell me that now? I just want to go play Lost Island. That's fantastic. Yes, I know there's a new non-story map coming out. Uh, Fjord, isn't it? That That's really... It's cool that there's still stuff being added even with Arc 2 on the way. Um, is there a quality difference between the non-story maps and the story maps? Like, or are they just, are they all as good as each other? Fjord, yeah. Okay, I think we're out of here now. Right, let's get our kitten away. 
multiple castles on Lost Island. Oh, stop. Stop tempting me. I can't do multiple maps at once. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too much. Is the sandstorm gone? Yes. All right, brilliant. Boop. Let's fly back. So we need one more. Um, story maps are better. Oh, okay. We do need one more wyvern talent. Hello. If we're going to summon multiple of the manticore, but I'm, I can't remember which one it is. So let's go have a look at which one it is. Let's turn this gamma down just a little. There we go. That's better. Right. Three maps are generally less groundbreaking and more island-like. Often very pretty. Yeah, I mean, the island was good because it had multiple stuff going for it, didn't it? Like, Scorched is really fun, but once you've got used to the desert and the sand and the heat, that's kind of all it has to offer. At least with the island, there was a lot of different... Um, there was a lot of different things going on. So if, if, they, if they're more island-like, that's kind of a good thing. What am I doing? I'm checking talent. Fire talent. All right, let's go get some fire wyverns. Um, should we take Zappy? I think Zappy's carrying eggs. Let's take eggs off Zappy then and put them on someone else. You can look after the eggs. And then let's just put these away so that I don't die, because if I take them with me, I will die. Just sod's law. And someone's just said the island is a basic map. I think that's kind of the point, though, isn't it? It's it's supposed to be... Stop celebrating. It's supposed to be, like, a learning experience of all the different types. Yeah, I'm not going to play any of the free DLC maps until I've done all the stories. Yeah. So they're larger with more creatures, but no explorer notes, and they don't look as good. Okay. All right. So just different, I guess. A different style of play. Lots and lots to do on Aberration. That's good. Because that is my main criticism of Scorched Earth, is that there isn't a huge amount. Or it doesn't feel like there's a huge amount on it. But it is still... I have still had a lot of fun on Scorched Earth. But I am now kind of chomping at the bit to get to that Manticore and get... Get to aberration that everyone's building on. Otters can hold multiple artifacts. I know otters can hold multiple artifacts. Yeah, they're the only creature that can hold multiple artifacts. But there are no otters on Scorched Earth, which is a bad thing. Otters are my favourite shoulder pet by far, so far. Otters are fantastic. I, I miss my, uh, my super otters. The island and Scorched prep you for Aberration, Aberration preps you for Extinction. Okay. So does that mean Extinction's harder than Aberration, then? Um, so if, if Scorched Earth is the hot map, is there a cold map? Is there a map where you're constantly freezing? Is that a thing or not? It feels like there should be a cold map. Let's just go over here and then we can try and find ourselves a... Yeah, the otters not being on Scorched Earth is definitely a deliberate choice, so we can't just put on a, a level 100 otter and ignore the, <laughs> ignore the temperature, definitely. Uh, oh, we've overshot the dragons, uh, the wyverns, they're down here. Okay. Scorched is a good roleplay map. Is there a big online roleplaying sort of community then on on Ark or not? It feels like it could lend itself towards that type of play with, with like tribes trading resources and stuff. But people on online games tend to just prefer to murder each other. Alright, let's get a little bit of stamina back, and then we'll see if we can't find ourselves something to kill. Oh, there's no special cold maps. That's a shame. I feel like they missed something there. With Scorched being hot, there should have been one that was really cold. Oh, freak, that's a lot of wyverns. 
I forgot my um, my spyglass, and I don't want to use the awesome spyglass because that's that'll tell me their level as well. Fuck. All right, let's see if we can find one that's a bit more by itself. This one. This one looks fiery. This one's red. Right, let's see if we can kill. Oh, let's see if we can kill this one. Yeah, he's a fire wyvern. Brilliant. Right, let's get him out. Come on. Oh shit, we got caught. Alright, let's let him go past us and then just... Watch, I found like a level 191 or something now by accident. Give me one second and then I'll start reading chat again. <laughs> let me just not get cooked by this guy. Oh, he was only level 20. Perfect. Let's grab some food. So does that mean we've got a talent from him if we chew him? Do we Oh shit, do we not get it if we kill him with the with the zap? Or is it in this bag here? It's in the bag there. There we go, that's what we needed. Brilliant. Right, let's get back. Alright, let's have a look. Um, extinction is kind of harder, but most people agree that aberration is hard. Oh, hello. Uh, no, we will ignore it. Right, so there's, uh, there's an unofficial cold map called Glacius. That sounds fun. Uh, aberration is not as easy as the island of Scotch. You will never, never be safe. At the start, just... Go big or die. Okay, brilliant. That sounds fun. Uh, people tried to roleplay. Played on PvP servers where you couldn't just destroy someone's base for no reason. Oh, that's cool. That's like, That sounds really awesome, actually. So you had to have some sort of, like... Um, oh, crap. What's it called? I've been playing Crusader Kings 3, um, you, you know, oh god, the word's gone out of my head. You had to have a reason, that's what I'm trying to say, yeah, you had to have a reason to attack, that sounds good. Okay, what else? Fjord has Jotunheim, a separate realm, resting at a comfortable minus 90 degrees C, holy crap. Right, so it has a it has a cold section. It's not an entirely cold map, but it has a cold section. That's really cool. Uh, just join the stream. Can you give me context of what you're doing? I, I, Casus Belli. Yeah, Casus Belli. Thank you, thank you. You know what I mean. Yes. Uh, yeah, context of what we're doing. I'm just flapping around, gathering some stuff so that we can do two Manticore fights instead of one, because I only got one set of. Um, one set of artifacts and I didn't have enough uh, wyvern talons to summon the manticore twice. I, I want to summon him twice so that I can see how he works on gamma before trying to fight him on alpha, basically. That's the that's the plan. And, you know, it, it's a good way to test out streaming, isn't it? Just sort of doing it when it's not a huge thing that I need to do. Just flapping around a little bit, killing some stuff. Test out how streaming works, make sure I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Aberration is harder, extinction is about preparation. Right, okay, yeah, I've got no problem prepping for stuff. I, I have time management issues where I spend way too much time in games, so over preparation is kind of my jam. You can't attack in PvE unless you declare tribe war. Okay. Right, well, let's have a look then. So, I don't know how long it's going to take for that other cave to respawn. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wyverns and an egg. So, let's see how many eggs we've got lying around now. Um,. Don't think we're gonna need 20 because it doesn't look like we'll actually be able to get 20 on. Uh, 
on the <laughs> on the platform. Right, let's let's start getting these eggs hatched then, yeah. Let's start getting these hatched. And then we'll put them into cryopods and I'll sort of deal with them later, getting them leveled up and imprinted and stuff, but let's just get them hatched for now. People are talking about a spoiler, but I haven't actually seen it, so I'm just not gonna <laughs> I won't read above that angry caps caps comment about spoilers. <laughs> That's good. Uh, most of extinction is harder. All right, so it seems like there's some debate about whether. Hello, you sat on my shoulder wrong. Let's let's fix you. There does seem to be some debate about which one is harder, which is good. That means they're both hard in different ways. So. From aberration onwards, the maps are much more story-driven, story-related. Right. Okay, that's cool. So story becomes a bit more of a focus later on. I like that. That's good. Um, what are we doing? We're just waiting for these guys to hatch now, aren't we? Let's move Zappy so we can actually get in with all of the ladies at once. There we go. Can you get to everyone now? Uh... Come on. Get in there. Can you mate? Yeah, can you mate? Or are you not turned? Are you not allowed to mate? Behavior... Enable mating, there we go, okay. Cool, breed me an army. Yeah, I need. I do need to turn on um, special attacks for the wyverns, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I will do that before we uh, start the fight. Genesis even has voice acting. Yeah, that's that's going to be a bit of a change since compared to what we've been going through all, all so far. That's that's weird. How are we doing? What the fuck, man? That's holy shit. I I whoa. Thank you, man. I I don't know how to respond to that. That's the first that's ever happened. That's <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you. That is really cool. I will name a wyvern after you, and hopefully it will it will survive the boss fight. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. That's really cool. Story still has to be sought out, and you're unlikely to find them in order. Yeah, get the story in one portion from YouTube. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that after each map, especially now that I know that Neddy is it Neddy the Noodle. That's a fabulous name, especially since I know that Neddy's videos are safe to watch after I've finished each map. Um, what are we doing? We're just waiting for eggs to hatch. It's a bit... Come on. Hatch. I like that the... Uh, the Parasaur monster. Have you seen my Parasaur monster, guys? It, it's unkillable. It's actually unkillable. Look. You can kill some of them, and then they fly off. Or they stretch and they do weird stuff, but a lot of them are just unkillable. See? Look, they're enemies. They've just glitched into the ground. They don't seem to want to starve to death. They, yep. They're, they're just unkillable little monsters. And every time I do it, he Spud runs away. Which is really weird, because Spud shouldn't be running away. Okay. Come on. Hatch, 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 hatch. We'll move this mantis while we're waiting for them to hatch since he's in the wrong place or she's in the wrong place. You think you should have made it? Yeah, that's a really, really good point, actually. So when you find the note, it isn't a specific note that you find. It's if it's your first note that you find, then it gives you the first note in order. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's actually a really fucking good idea. That's brilliant. Uh, what's your favourite team so far? Baryonyx! I love Baryonyx. I want more Baryonyx. I'm upset that there's no Barrys on this map. They're... They're fast. They're... They're strong. I love Barrys. Um... Yeah, there's no... You are gonna suggest Neddy's videos, but I don't want to advertise his channel. Why? Like, it's fine. If, if something's worth watching, say it's worth watching. I'm... You know... I don't mind. I'm not gonna be like, oh, how dare you advertise someone's channel on my on my stream? No, no. 
no, that's that's just silly. If, if you, you want to share content that's gonna entertain people and make them happy, then do it. Yeah. Spud runs because the Paris call scares some diners away. Thank you. Seriously, oh my god, you have solved something that has been bothering me for so long. Thank you. I was so fucking confused about that. Uh, you're gonna come play modded with me when you're done. Yeah, I will. I am really looking forward to setting up some um, servers for like a bit more of community play. As soon as I get onto the. Um, the non-story maps and there's no more like spoiler type stuff for me to deal with. Hello, you've got a lot of stuff on. Yeah, I was not a fan of the Barry at first because the Barry bullied me, but you know, definitely a fan of it now. <laughs> I want an army of mutated Barrys. Wyverns, no, I did I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to break your heart. I really don't like Wyverns. I really don't like them. They're, they're sky te they're sky rexes, and I don't like rexes. They're they're just no. The wyverns are big, cumbersome. They take forever to turn. They're no. They're sky rexes. Makes less sense because the location of the notes are canonically driven. Right. Yeah, fair enough. All right, I get that. So maybe you could you could break break them up into different ones. Where if it's like the um, the notes about specific creatures, then you find them in relevant areas. But story notes could be placed in areas where it would be relevant to the story, but still find them in a certain order. Maybe hmm. I don't know. There seems to be some way you could do it where it would make the story flow a little bit better. Because the story is hard to follow when you're finding it piecemeal. What are you? Level 41. Alright, that's fine. Yeah. Let's collect all these wyverns and then maybe we'll head back up to that cave and see if it's actually figured itself out now. Use them for drops. Do you mean you use the, the wyverns for the, for the drops out in the desert? Those drops scare me. They're, uh, they're too near death worms and I've lost enough to death worms poor spicy I feel like aberration really improves on the late game dinos wyverns are super awkward but I think you'll like some of the later teams on aberration a lot more yeah I do feel like there needs to be better late game dinos late game late Late game tames. What is the best dinosaur? Because the best dinosaur to start with on Scorched. Ooh, I don't know. People, what do you think the best dinosaur to start with on Scorched is? What should be your first tame on Scorched? Advise our friend in the chat. I have forgotten my Spud. I need to go back and get Spud. There we go. There's Spud. I'm sorry I forgot you. I won't do it again. Come on. There we go. Jabo. <laughs> yeah, Jabo. I don't see. Don't think they're very useful because I don't understand what they're what they're wailing about. Mozza chop. Mozza chops is great. Everyone needs to. Everyone needs a mozza chops. Hope it's not a spoiler, but that gliding plus climbing creature you wanted a while back is on app. Right. I remember what you're talking about. I said that. I said I wanted a flying squirrel, didn't I? And someone commented and said that there is. I think it might. It might have even been you. Sorry. Someone definitely commented and said there is a flying squirrel type creature. So are you telling me that my flying squirrel is on aberration? I want my flying squirrel. That's what I want. 
<laughs> so hopefully this this flipping cave has respawned itself now. You afraid of snakes? No, no, I like snakes. Uh, my wife won't let me get a snake. We already have too many pets, but I love snakes. Snakes are great. I used to sponsor one at Chester Zoo. Yeah, a little... Was it a corn snake? It wasn't a corn snake. It was something similar. Flying squirrel is not till Gen 2. Oh. Why, why, why should I be afraid of snakes? Are there going to be snakes on Aberration? Not that flying squirrel. Okay, so there's multiple flying squirrels. <laughs> I like how people are worried about spoilers. I'm just getting more and more confused the more people say. <laughs> don't spoil it. Yeah, no, just don't make me more confused. Oh, that's a very pretty tapajara. Flying platypus. So, we've already got one of the most confusing animals that there is, and then you've added wings to it. That's wonderful. There's going to be a tiny little snake at the start of Ab. Right, when you say it like that, I think there's going to be like Jormunder, the world snake, or something for being trying to eat me at the beginning of the game. When you say there's going to be something that's tiny, I expect something huge. Alright, well the enemies have respawned, definitely, so that's a start. There's big snake in Ab. Okay, good. Maybe we should tame a snake. I still haven't tamed a snake. Can you ride them? Do they have saddles? The, I, I don't mean whatever one's in Ab, I mean uh, the Titan. The Titan, but oh shit, hello, Pat. No, it's definitely tiny and cute. No. <laughs> this is the video game equivalent of you telling me that you've got sweets if I get in the van. Is that... Is this right here? Is this... No, it's... This is a Titanosaur, isn't it? Yeah, that's a Titanosaur. So... So can I not um, ride the Titan Boa? That's sad. And there's still no fucking thing here. This is all we need now. Once we've got this, we can actually do it, but no. Can't ride Titan Boa. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. No point taming one then, really, is there? Ugh. Right, let's leave this cave again. Need to watch our health a little bit. Let's take these metal tools just for the mantis. And arrows, because I always run out of arrows. You can ride Athlopur, which I don't get. Yeah, I have I, I don't really see the point in taming an Athlopur. I hear they're brilliant in PvP, but for me by myself, I don't really see the point of getting one. Maybe Maybe once I've done all the maps, if I ever do like a bug challenge where I can only tame bugs, then I'll get some Arthropleras. Then we'll do that, but at the moment I don't really see the point. I can ride the tiny snake in Ab. Okay, that's good. The tiny snake that we all know is going to eat me, because it's going to be absolutely fucking giant. There we go, we're out. Yeah, they can destroy metal in PvP. Yeah, they, they just melt everything, don't they? That's the point of them. Let's get Spud back. There we go. And let's fly. Alright, well, my goal was to get those three artifacts and that last talent, but we can't seem to get that flipping artifact, which is just frustrating. That's that's really annoying. Let's fly back and let's have a look at how we are doing prepping for. You'd be flying around on a butterfly the whole time in bugs only check. Yes! Yes, I would. Alright, actually, that's a good idea. 
Let's tame a butterfly. Do you jump scare easy? Um, no. No, I, d I don't jump scare. He says. I'll do a live stream of Resident Evil one day or something and then you can see that that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It depends. If, if I'm expecting the jump scare, no. So if I'm playing a horror game, I tend not to get jump scared. If I'm playing a game that isn't horror and then there's like a horror element, then I get freaked out, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Go, going off on a slight tangent here, the, the horror game that's got me the most, the one that's freaked me out the most, is Thief Deadly Shadows. Because it's not a horror game, and then randomly, suddenly, you're in the middle of a fucking horror. You're in a horror mission, and you're at the Shale Bridge Cradle, and you just, yeah. That freaked me out. That really got me. Um. Okay, someone tell me, what do I need to tame the butterfly? Is it a passive tame or an active tame? I'm going to tame a butterfly now. Do I shoot the butterfly or do I chase the butterfly and give it stuff? Which do I do? Let's see. We have kibble. And terrible eggs. 50 feet tiny snake. You should play Little Nightmares. I want to play Little Nightmare because of the Stupendium song about it. I really like the Stupendium. Um, and yeah, that's a great active berries after knockout. Okay, sweet. Let's go. Let's go shoot a butterfly. Capro jump scares. Yeah, Capro jump scares get me every fucking time because I'm not expecting them. Yep. Arc jump scares are jump scares that get me because I'm not expecting to be jump scared. Where have I put my... Um... Oh God, what's it called? Spyglass. Do you have it? You do not have it. I have a spyglass. Where is it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Do I have it unlocked? Yes. The song is so sad. I studied more music, and it's so simply and brilliantly made. Are you? Are you? Yes, Stupendium. Yeah, Stupendium songs are fucking brilliant. I bought Control because of the Stupendium, um, and I love that game. Right. Let's see. I need wood crystal and fiber crystal fiber wood and hide. Let's make spyglass. There we go. And then let's put all this back. Put you there. Put you there. Put you there. And put you there. Okay. Right. Let's find ourselves a butterfly. And I'm dehydrated. Let's not find ourselves a butterfly. Let's get a drink. Um, I can't believe we've gone this far and I still haven't actually tamed a butterfly yet. That's just silly. Uh, we'll take we'll take our RG, not not a wyvern. Have you played Doki Doki Literature Club? No, I've not played that. I've never heard of it. I was disappointed that the baby butterflies aren't caterpillars, wildcat. Yeah, okay, but at the same time, a tiny little butterfly is kind of adorable. Um, controls music to be kind of air. Yeah, it's not the best, but it intrigued me. It made me wonder what the hell was going on. It's not the best song, but it was a good, um, it was a good hook for the game. Favorite game, favorite tame so far, Baryonyx. Most useful tame is definitely RG, but Baryonyx is my favorite. There's a butterfly. Level 25 butterfly. It's gonna. It's not gonna be great, but we're gonna get it. Oh, there's multiple. And my plumage is in the way. Should I go get a bowler? I should go get a bowler, shouldn't I? I should make a bowler. What do I need for a bowler? Do I have bowler unlocked? I do not. I need fiber, hide, stone, and thatch. I don't use them as much as I should. 
it was a shame that there was never a chance for the female man. I, yes, I thought that exact same thing when I started breeding the mantises. I, I genuinely thought that um, I was going to... I was going to lose my male during the breeding process. And someone said, Core Keeper isn't finished yet. I've just bought Core Keeper because of your recommendation. I haven't played it yet, but I have bought it, so... You know, it got me into studying music. Ark soundtrack got you studying into studying music. That's really fucking cool. I have been told that... Hello. Okay, you want to be tamed. You just want to be tamed. You're just asking for it. Hello. Yeah, you can do that as much as you want, but it doesn't actually work. Come on. Fall asleep. Oh, it's escaped. All right, we need a bowler. <clears throat> Vin Diesel is in Ark. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Keep video games for video games and let the movie stars do their own thing. What are we missing? Fiber. Most OP tame is the otter. Yeah, the otter is the most useful thing in the game. Not so far for me, anyway. He made the Halo music. Oh, so the person who made Halo's music is made Ark music. It's the same composer. Because the Halo music is fucking fantastic. I will admit that. I only played Halo this year for the first time ever. I'd never played any Halo game before this year. Which I understand is like a sin to a lot of gamers. But... I never owned an Xbox as a kid, so when I found they were on uh, PC Game Pass, I started playing them and they were absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Best tame is the dodo. <laughs> I have never tamed a dodo. Never once. There we go, butterfly. Hello. Right, let's get you. Come okay, on. You're gonna be my butterfly. Nope, I'm gonna miss. Right, let's go. Vin Diesel is in Ark because he's the producer of Ark 2, and he's the producer hundreds of hours, thousands of hours of Ark. Oh, okay. I hear that he's actually, at, like, he's somewhat important at Wildcard, isn't it? Like, he has money in Wildcard or something. Vin, so Vin Diesel's a massive nerd as well. So we need to get Vin Diesel and Henry Cavill in an interview together and they can just geek out together about stuff. That'll be really cool. Come on, be tamed, little butterfly. Um, I don't think I've played... Have I played Reach? I've only played the mainline titles. So the only the ones where Master Chief is the main character and I haven't played the new one, basically. Kite and fiber and hide. All right. Ooh, an egg. My egg. So we need kite and fiber and hide to make a saddle for this. That's fine. Come on. Is, is right. I'm gonna sound stupid here. Is Reach one of the main ones or? It's Reach a, a, a spin-off, or... I'm sorry, I can't remember which one Reach is. Let's, let's go make this saddle while we wait for this guy. Oh, we knocked both of them out. Cool. Let's go quickly craft the saddle, and then by the time we get back, he should be awake. It's a prequel to Halo. Right, okay. I don't think I'll play it then if it's one of the prequels. Let's eat the egg. There we go. You make your own character. No, I haven't played that one then. No, okay. 
Where is all our kite? Does Muppet have it? Have we used it? Is there some in the chemistry bench, maybe? I am not as organized in this map as I was in the last map. Ah! There we go, there we go. And then fiber and hide and... I just really want to see what these butterflies are like. Because I probably will end up doing a, a bugs only challenge at some point. I am an idiot for stuff like that. I love stuff like that. So, trust me, it's worth it. Alright, at some point I will go play it then. Because I did actually really like the Halo games. So yeah, I will probably play Reach at some point. Why are you not tamed yet? Does it not want the thing? Do you not want kibble? Why do you not want kibble? Yeah, have stuff. Come on, be tamed. What the heck? Would you ever try hardcore? Yes, I would, but I'd cry a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd play some hardcore, but I would. <laughs> I don't know how well I'd take it emotionally. There we go. All right, let's put a saddle on this guy and let's take that off him so he doesn't eat it. Um, speed, you can, I don't know. Do I have another? No, I don't have another one. You're gonna have to follow us. Butterfly, are we ready? Are we ready? Da -da -da -da. Oh, that's brilliant. I love how just bonkers some of the stuff in Ark is. And we can, we can fart at things. Fantastic. Have you ever played Half-Life? Yes, I love Half-Life. Not played Half-Life 2, but Half-Life 1 is fantastic. I played um, the remake. Shit, what's it called? Is it Black Mesa? I played that recently. That was absolutely brilliant. It brought back a lot of childhood PlayStation 2 memories. That was great. You think that's the wrong kibble? I thought kibble worked in that you could give them a higher level of kibble, so you could always give them a higher level of kibble. Should I get Seven Days to Die? It's on Xbox Game Pass right now. No. No. You should not get Seven Days to Die on Xbox Game Pass because it's the console version which was fucking abandoned and is a mess. So no. If you want Seven Days to Die, get it on Steam when it goes on sale for like four quid or on something like CD keys or something. Um, on PC, it's brilliant, but on console, it's been abandoned. They, they've just announced that they're going to start working on it again, but it's like four or five patches behind the PC version. People used to steal wavering eggs on butterflies. That's brilliant. Each dino wants a different type of kibble. Yeah, I, 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 I know that each dino has a different tier of kibble that they want, but I was under the impression that if you gave a higher tier of kibble, it counted as the same tier that they wanted. So if it wanted um, Mastercraft Kibble and you gave it ascend Ascended Kibble, I know that's not the right terms, then it worked like that. Uh, but I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I am still learning. This is Spud stuff. Um, Metal's important. Yeah, I'll take that. It does work like that. All right, thank you. I knew I wasn't going insane. Let's go through here and up here. And put this kibble away. Right. Got a few more wyvern eggs hatched. No, not hatched. Laid. So we can start. Oh god, you've been busy. Oh dear. So have you. Mastercraft kibble. Don't laugh at me. You know what I fucking mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, you know what I mean. It's extraordinary kibble is the highest, and I can't remember what the rest of them are. This is 
been a while since I made any. The simple, is there like simple, basic? I don't know. The kibble system used to work for each dino egg made a specific kibble which worked for one dino only. So everyone would have kibble farms of every dino in the game. Holy shit. And that's why they changed it to the current system. Yes, Mastercraft Kibble, leave me alone, all right. I know it's not Mastercraft Kibble. <laughs> Primitive Kibble, fuck off. This is just bullying now. That's what this is. Ramshackle Kibble, oh shit, hello. Um, excuse me. Sentient Kibble. <laughs> Oh dear. There we go. Oh, we've got a heat wave. Oh, heat wave. Should we go out and try and look for the um uh, Phoenix? You find the Phoenix in heat wave, can't you? It's the only time you can find it. And Boa used to be important because they tamed Kibble. Oh, okay, Journeyman Kibble. All right, all right, all right. I've just started something that everyone's going to piss out of me for forever now, haven't I? Wonderful. That's a Rex. Right. Let's turn Gamma down a tiny bit. And let's see if we can find this Phoenix. Finding a Phoenix is a waste of time. Yes, but I wanted to because it's something to do. It's part of the thing on this map. I don't think I can see far enough, so it's just, like, flying and hoping for the best, really, isn't it? You'd have to have farms with four of each egg. They are weak and impossible to find. Well, you never know, we might get lucky. And if we leave this map without having me found a phoenix, I will feel like we've not done enough. We've not done it. Seems like this map has one boss and one special creature, and that's kind of it. So if we leave without finding the phoenix, then we've kind of missed the whole point. Right, let's go back and get a parasaur then. Yeah, people are right, I should have brought that with me. What does, I don't even know what it looks like. Plateaus to the northeast. Uh, I, yeah, I think they can spawn anywhere, so... God knows. Again, like I said, I don't even know what they look like. It could fly past me and I'd probably just think it was a, a red argy or something. Yeah, no idea what it's supposed to look like. Let's go grab our parasaur, though. I used to dino track for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand why you do that. They can spawn anywhere and disappear within three minutes. It looks like argy's on fire, okay. So I shouldn't, if they're that obvious, I shouldn't need a parasol, but let's grab one anyway. Uh, alert settings, are you, there we go, turret mode, okay. Oh, shit, I just tried to set everything on fire, that's not right. Wrong button. Dragons pick things up with C, there we go. Okay, let's see if we can find something there. They're hard to miss. You say that, but I've looked for one every single time that they've been here. You have to know where the ashes fall and make a trap around where they fall for the next storm. Yeah! That's... We need to find it first, though, don't we? And you tame it with fire. Okay. I'm not even sure how this detection thing works. With the parasol. That's a lightning wyvern just chilling down there. Cool. Um, that's an RG. Don't get excited. That's a slightly red RG. I almost got excited about that. 
Griffins. Griffin. Oh, cool. Griffins. But they're not on a story map. Griffins are on Ragnarok, Lost Island, Bristol Isles, Lost Island. Okay. So that's not something I'm going to encounter in the story maps, though. Okay, you detected an enemy. Where? Like, I don't understand how you work. You're a butterfly, not a phoenix. This is... just, like... What the fuck do you find this without like, ten people scouring the map? If it can be anywhere and it only lasts a couple of minutes... What the heck? That's just a yellow RG. No, not on story maps. Alright, no, no griffins on story maps. Okay. Go up here. They seem to be higher up, not on the ground. Alright, let's fly up a little bit. How high are they flying then? Uh now it's fucking. It. And it's over! Okay, we, we missed our window of opportunity. Fucking wonderful. It's not supposed to be easy. I know it's not supposed to be easy. We missed our window. I'm not going to die of heat, it's fine, the heat storm's gone. Was that it in the desert? I think you're taking the piss. I do not trust you. I'm not going to die, it's fine. I would have completely died if that had carried on for another few seconds. I had no idea. <laughs> Alright, we missed our opportunity to find a phoenix. That's a shame. Okay. Well, I wanted to get three artifacts, and I only got two artifacts, but at least we got all the talons we need for... It's there. It's not there. It's not. Stop. If I go back and it's not there, I'm going to be very cross with you all. I'm going back in the stream to check. <laughs> For fuck's sake, fine, we'll fly over there and see. Nope, that's wrong. We need to land and get some stamina. In the desert. All right, multiple people are saying it was in the desert. You should still be able to... Yeah, I know we can detect it if it's ashes, so I will go back if people are sure. And we'll have a look. We just needed to get our stamina back. Let's turn around. Let's grab our parasol. Have a drink. Oh my god, that was it, I think. Oh, I, I can't tell if you're just taking the piss out of me, to be honest, but we'll see. Right, where do you think it was then? Go on, where whereabouts do you think it was? In the desert. That the desert's big. The fucking map is desert. In the desert. <laughs> oh no, you're all just no, uh, you're just taking the piss out of me now. It's like um uh, that's a death worm. It might have been a rock. Fuck you! I've been a rock. <laughs> I don't think we're here. You found a Rex. That's what you found. You found us a level 100. Holy shit. Okay, fair enough. You found us the highest level Rex I've seen on Scott. So I'll give you points for that. There is no, <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no phoenix here, but there was a, a high level wreck, so fair enough. Right, I think that is it for this stream. I am 
honestly really amazed that so many people turned up and it's been really cool to actually be able to chat with people so i'm definitely gonna do this again you saw a phoenix no one saw a phoenix there is no phoenix there isn't a single phoenix on this map they don't exist i'm calling it now it's bullshit fake news phoenixes are not real <laughs> right thank you very much to everyone for turning up it's been absolutely brilliant and yeah i think that's i don't know how to end this because there's people here so i can't just like re-record my ending a few times because it's awkward and i don't know how to say goodbye so yeah bye guys